Zeppo, can you look up for me if something interesting happens if I unlock all of the hunter's notes? Something interesting does happen. Okay, I figured it probably did, in which case we should probably make an effort to do that, shouldn't we? I am missing four charms, and I have no idea where they would be. Crystal Peak, Soul Sanctum, Dirt Mouth, Deep, ma deep Nest. You're kidding me. <laughs> You're kidding me. There was just a room up here that I didn't check. Well, that's quite the twist now, isn't it? Yeah, this seems like the kind of place I'd find a crystal charm, huh? Deep focus. Weaver song. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is every single charm. Let's get going. We still have some shit to search. We still have some shit to find. What are we missing still that I want to find before the end of the game? Well, first, I want to figure out what the fuck is the deal with these. I've, I've gone the entire game without figuring out what the hell is going on with Rancid Eggs. I've no idea. I need to find the final vessel fragment. I assume there's only one. If I'm missing four of these, I will be astonished. I need to find the dark upgrade to Howling Wraiths. I'm presuming there is one. May turn out not to be the case, but I'm reasonably certain that there will be one. Oh yeah, we need to buy the thing from Suluba. And of course, we need to complete the Hunter's Notes. This is what we're going to do first, because this is the most straightforward. Our next destination for that will be the Ancient Basin, which I believe is where the Morlocks are. I think if we can't figure out what the deal is with the King Soul, we're going to basically do a tour of the uh, the locations. The, specifically the locations that are marked on the map, right? Any location that has an actual symbol on the map, like a drawing. We're going to do a tour of those because I'm pretty sure it will correspond to one of those. I can't imagine that it's just some random room. And we have confirmation from Zeppo that whatever you're supposed to do with the King Soul, you can do before killing all the Dreamers. It's not like we're just beating our heads against the wall here. There should be something we can do with this. The question is how intuitive it is, I suppose. Because if it's just as simple as go to a location and thing happens, then that's fine. But if there's like extra steps involved then it becomes a little more complex and a little harder for us to uh, figure out on our own. Yeah, I'd quite like to figure out the whole thing if possible. I'm just checking to see if there's any other like side passages along here. It didn't look like it. Because we do still need to keep our eyes open for the soul vessel. Now, finding the final soul vessel will be straightforward if we end up looking it up. Because I was thinking to myself, oh, we don't know which ones we've got and which ones we haven't. Oh, these guys. Yes. Okay. This is something I still need to kill. Uh, I was thinking, we still don't know which ones I've got and which ones I haven't, blah, blah, blah. But of course, there's only nine of them in the entire game. So it should be easy enough to figure out which ones we've got and which ones we haven't. There we go. I believe that's it. We needed three. Let's check over here. See if this has anything to do with the King's Soul. Oh, no, this is what gave me the wings, right? Hang on, I should start making notes of these. Just so we don't have to come back and check these locations. And that is the only notable location in the Ancient Basin. Now we have a couple in the abyss. So that that face room, I've made a note that just says purpose unclear because I've got no fucking clue what the deal is with that, to be frank. We may need to go to like this tower or to this thing or whatever. This could be the location. That's absolutely believable that this may have something to do with the King's Soul. I don't know what the lore is behind the tower, so we should probably check that out while we're down here. But we are going to hunt down the Morlocks first, because that is sort of the primary point. There should be a decent number of them down here, I seem to remember. Let's check. Is there anything else in this location I need to kill? I don't think there is, right? We got the infected balloons, broken vessel. Yeah, we've got all of these. And we need to keep an eye open for any enemies we may not have killed yet, because those wouldn't appear on this list. Okay. Damn, we do a lot of fucking damage, huh? Holy crap, that's huge. I see no particular reason to explore further. I mean, we can check for um, vessel fragments, I guess. Like, for all I know, this guy's sitting on a fucking hole in the roof that... God damn. I was gonna say, it's not impossible that he's blocking some kind of passage? I don't know. I am here. Hey, Zeppo. Sorry, that sounded far too enthusiastic. Fuck off, Zeppo. Okay, and now we want to go down into the abyss to check the lighthouse to see if that has anything to do with the King's Soul. Yeah, so the King's Brand was compulsory, right? Yeah, it wasn't an optional thing because we needed the King's Brand to get through here and we needed to get through here to gain the darkness ability, which allows us to get through the Black Barriers, which is required to get to Monument. Or maybe it isn't. No, maybe it isn't. I actually think all the Black Barriers might be optional, thinking about it, because I think I could have got to Monument from the other direction, couldn't I? Hmm. Maybe the black dash thing is entirely optional, which means that second Hornet fight. How much of this game is optional? Like, what is the minimum amount of stuff you need to do to beat this game? It rewards exploration for sure. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, obviously. <laughs> like, there is a, an immense amount of exploration in this game. Okay, so the tower doesn't seem to have anything to do with it, and neither does this area. I mean, we'll check. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be anything I can do with the King's Soul here. Okay, fine. 
Okay, I don't think there's anything else left to explore in the abyss. That's the Geo Fountain, I guess. Could go check out the Geo Fountain. We also want to dump a shitload of money into the Geo Fountain. What creatures do we have left to kill? Hive Guardians? Okay, so we need to go kill four more of those. That's quite a lot. Oh, by the way, Zeppo. The one other thing, the one thing I want you to, uh, the next thing I, well, I say one other thing, there'll be more things. Is there a point to rancid eggs? Or is it just like a joke item? There is a point. Yeah, I figured there would be. Is it something that it's strange that I haven't found it yet? Or is it something that, for example, I don't have access to yet? Because I have to, say, kill some dreamers. You have access to it and you have found the NPC. Oh, what? How is it possible then that I haven't been given any option to perform rancid egg interactions. I'm genuinely baffled. I'm gonna have to do a little tour of NPCs then. See if I can figure out what the fuck is going on. If it's a merchant, what the fuck do they even sell? Almost every collectible in the game I found, they don't sell charms, because I've got all the charms. They don't sell mask fragments, because I've got all the mask fragments. They might sell one soul vessel. I have no idea. What, what the hell would I exchange the rancid eggs for? Because I don't think you can get in here, bud. Nice. That's all the bees. This is all of them, right? Because these are all bosses beyond this point. Oh no, no they're not. Ah, siblings. Okay, we need to go kill one more sibling. Fuck. I guess I didn't check the abyss segment. God damn it. We're gonna do a quick tour of the NPCs we've met because I swear most of these I've talked to like multiple times. Okay, I mean, she just kind of carries on like that. Maybe I can do something to make her interact with me the rancid eggs, but I, no idea. Sly? After I get the nail master thing? Okay, no. Fair enough. Love the twist that he's like the, the, the great nail smith, the great nail lord or whatever. This dialogue is the same. Nothing in here. These guys are still going. Yep. Of course. I've spoken to Gigi like a million fucking times, so it's definitely not Gigi. I'm trying to think of the only NPCs that I haven't interacted with in any significant way. Willow, I guess? I don't, still don't know what the deal is with Willow, but I've spoken to Willow plenty of times. She just, she hasn't offered to like, take some rancid eggs or whatever. I mean, we could go back to the Dung Defender, see if there's a anything going on with him, but I'm pretty sure he was looping as well. There's Tuck, who sells me rancid eggs, so he's not gonna buy them. Saluba after the charms? I can't imagine so. I can't imagine that rancid eggs would only become a factor once you've gotten all 40 other, all 40 of the charms. That would be a bizarre decision. Okay, so now we need to kill another sibling. Oh, what the? That's gotta be the king soul. That's gotta be the fucking king soul, right? Because the abyss makes sense, it fits. I am so fucking lucky that I hadn't killed enough siblings. And this is the place where they spawn. What the fuck? That's gotta be the King Soul, 100%. The Abyss was one of the locations that I thought made the most sense. And that looked extremely suspect. Gotta be, gotta be the fucking King Soul. And hey, who knows, maybe the final Soul Vessel Fragment is in here and I'm not completely stupid. This is a hell of a zone. Passages made of piled skulls. The remains of all the knights, I guess? Again, don't really know what my species is. But, holy hell. Because there's two passages to go down, so let's go down this one. An arcane egg? Okay, swell. That'll be hopefully more lore. Feels good to be discovering new shit. Is this where I came from? What do I do with this? Dream Nail! Good plan. Thank you. I completely forgot about that, but you're right. Absolutely. Dream Nail was the obvious thing to do there. No cost too great. Are we getting some lore? This feels like we may be getting some lore. Is this where, is this my origin? Is this where I came from? Am I a spirit that claimed one of these masks? Yep, this is me in control. My word. Not a lot of light here. Whoops. I feel like I'm supposed to just go up. I, this feels like one of those areas that's linear. There's like nothing really to find off the beaten path. You're just supposed to make your way up. Oh, this is the, yeah, this is the abyss. This is, it's the same layout. So this, this is the background. No mind to think. This, I'm pretty sure this is the character's origin, right? This is us climbing up out of the abyss before the game began. No will to break. Yeah, we don't even have any health. 
No voice to cry suffering. Born of God and void. There we are. Is this the Hollow Knight? He's got the same uh, horns as the Hollow Knight statue does. I think that's the Hollow Knight. The one who became the vessel. You shall seal the blinding light that plagues their dreams. You are the vessel. You are the Hollow Knight. The Void Heart. There we go. This charm is a part of its bearer and cannot be unequipped. An emptiness that was hidden within now unconstrained unifies the void under the bearer's will. I wonder what, if any, mechanical effect that has. Intriguing. So I think that's the origin of the Hollow Knight and likely the origin, the original Hollow Knight, the one who became the vessel, and likely the origin of us as well. It is so fucking lucky that I had one more sibling to kill, isn't it? Holy crap. Otherwise I may never have come back here. Well, I mean, obviously, I'd have, I'd have probably wound up getting Zeppo to give me hints, but um, I'm quite pleased that I found it myself. Still no idea where the final soul vessel is, of course, but hey. Can't win them all. And I have now filled in all of the Hunter's Journal pages that I am currently aware of. Uh, which means, let's head back to the Hunter and see if he has anything to say. I think there's probably enemy types I haven't encountered yet. I imagine there's infected versions of a few of the other bugs that will start appearing once I kill off the, the other dreamers. Oh, also, we need to go to Salabur, don't we? We can farm, we can easily farm our way up to 800 Geo um, in this location. Yeah, because I mean, the soul vessel that I haven't found, I'm pretty sure is just a side, uh, like a minor side thing. Um, it'll be like a small side passage or like a breakable wall that I didn't find. Honestly, I'm quite pleased. I don't, I don't seem to have missed anything major, like, because the, all the charms that there were, none of them were major things. They were just like small side passages that I missed. I guess the only major thing I'm missing, I would say, is whatever whatever this is. Oh no, I guess the Weaver's Den was pretty major. That was like a whole other area that I was missing. What voice did I choose to give this fucker? I was something really unfitting, wasn't it? Aha! Your journal grows fat and full. Only those last few rare beasts remain left to stalk. Search the kingdom's corners. Complete the journal. Earn your well-deserved reward. That's a very unfitting voice. I don't know if that's the voice I gave him before, but fuck it. I assume my well-deserved reward is he tries to kill me and it's a boss fight, which at least that's what I'm hoping for. I want to I wanna have a boss fight with that guy. That seems like a cool thing to do. Hunter has nothing further to say, which means, exploration-wise, what is there left to do? Let's go to Salibur and grab the charm, but other than that... I think we found everything I was looking for, apart from the soul vessel, which it's not the biggest deal in the world. It's not like it's something missable. I might as well just do the dreamers first. I'll look up where the final soul vessel is probably before I go into the final boss fight, which I assume, I assume will be I interact with the black egg after killing all the dreamers. That would be my guess. Might get spoiled. Uh, I mean, do you want to look up where the soul vessel fragments are and see if it's a spoiler? I mean, if, yeah, if you take a look at where they are, where all nine of them are, and then see if any of them are theoretically spoilers, because obviously we don't know which one I'm missing at the moment, unless there's like an obvious one. And then at some point, I do want to go back and check the DLC area. Once I'm confident that I found all the bosses, bar the final boss, then I'm going to go back to the DLC area and see if there are any I'm missing, because that, that could be very interesting. That's a good way to give me hints about what bosses exist. Rather than looking them up online, I'll take a look at what the DLC tells me just based on their silhouettes and see if I can figure it out. Oh, you know what? I was wondering what you get from that geo fountain. I I am pretty sure there is a decent chance that that geo fountain, if you put enough money into it, gives you a soul fragment. That would make a lot of sense, actually. That's an appropriate reward. So we're going to try and pour a shitload of money into the geo fountain before we uh, look up where the fragment is and spoil ourselves. Okay, come on, Saliba. Saluba, Salubra? I actually don't remember. The final <laughs> thing we can purchase. My dear, a blessing for you. With your excessive patronage and those startling good looks, you've more than earned it. Mm. <laughs> oh, it's a kiss. Okay. A boon bestowed by charm lover Salubra, those blessed are followed by beauty and love. I wonder what this does. Hmm, yes. I hope my blessing brings you everything you desire. Don't be a stranger, sweetum. Goodness, goodness, you've gone and bought all my lovely charms. What a stunning, colourful collection you've amassed. Mm. 
You are even more the attractive bug clad in all those wonderful, sparkling things. I may have nothing more to give, but you must come back and visit from time to time. Such a dashing figure frequenting my store. <laughs> I bet the whole village is jealous. Mm hmm. Please with that. Now, I, like I say, I don't know if that actually has any effect. Other than giving me the achievement, of course. Maybe it changes some NPC dialogue or something. That that would be appropriate, I feel. However, I think now seems like a reasonable time to make the first break of the stream and probably the end of the exploration YouTube video. Did a fuckload of exploration. We found a lot of things, some of which Zeppo helped with and some of which he didn't. Yeah, honestly, I'm perfectly happy to proceed with the game now. I think the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go turn in this arcane egg, get a bunch of geo, and then pour a shitload into the fountain because I actually really do suspect that the missing fragment, the fountain, I think, has to provide something. That a vessel fragment would make a lot of sense. It, it would feel like quite an appropriate reward for pouring a load of money into that fountain. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, and then we're going to see if we can figure out, I guess we'll do a quick tour of NPCs, see if we can figure out what the fuck I'm supposed to do with this rancid egg. I might just ask Zeppo about that, because apparently I already know the NPC. Yeah, I've, I've no idea who we give rancid eggs to. Absolutely no clue. I guess I'll just have to figure it out. Uh, and we'll be sorting that out in the next video.